Okay boys and girls, welcome to the introduction video to the Reddit Empire Bot V3. This is, as I just said, an introduction video. This is in no way a technical tutorial on how to use the bot. So in this uh, video, I'm just going to go over each module that the bot has so that you're able to get an idea of what the bot's capable of and how powerful it is. Okay, so the first module or the first tab is the settings tab. Here you can set up the bot to um, use its different features. The first one being the threads. Okay, the bot's capable of running as many threads as your computer or VPS or dedicated server is capable of um, running. So this depends on your amount of RAM and CPUs. But there's no reason on a dedicated server you can't have 50 threads running or 50 accounts um, doing its business um, at the same time. The amount of actions to take is, um, as it says, the amount of actions to take. So if you put 50 in there and you're using the um, upvote module, then that would run 50 upvotes. Um, the rest of the um, settings here are discussed in the tutorials, okay, on how to use the bot. Um, obviously, this is to input your proxies and your fingerprints um, and your capture key. Don't worry if you um, are not too familiar with captures and proxies and all this kind of thing all this is run through to you run with you in the tutorial videos not only that we offer support via discord and skype and of course email we're always on hand to help you get it set up and running okay so the next section is the post content module and also what people like to call the uh, karma farming module with this module you're able to post your content of course that you can later upvote but not only that, it's a great way to get Karma points. Now, Karma is a way for other Reddit users and Reddit itself to um, kind of give you a score on how trusted you are. So the more Karma points you have, the uh, better standing that your account is generally seen as um, having. So for instance, if you have 500 Karma points and you have another account that has two, then generally speaking, in Reddit's eyes and other users' eyes, the one with the higher karma points is more trusted and in turn more likely to get more exposure and upvotes. Now also, the other reason why you uh, want karma points is a lot of the subreddits have a minimum entry level um, for you to be able to comment and post in. So for an example, one subreddit may have a minimum karma um, entry level of 100 and the next one may be 500 so you definitely need to have your karma points up on your accounts and able to be able to post and uh, be seen as trusted the next module is check if your accounts are alive so this is really handy if you're making churn and burn accounts etc which will be discussed shortly you're able to check every reddit account that you have in your database to see if it's still alive or it's shadow banned so it's a great little feature because you want to get rid of the dead wood and you certainly don't want to be wasting your time trying to post and upvote with accounts that simply aren't going to work. The next uh, section is our different um, accounts that you can make, different types. Uh, making accounts comes in three different flavors. So the first one is your standard account creation. This is where your account is made and verified by um, emails that you provide such as Yahoo, Hotmail and Gmail. Okay, this are the, these are the best type of accounts to have. However, there are, are some hard costs um, involved. You will need a bunch of email addresses, which um, if I can help you out with. Um, yeah, so these are made with Yahoo, Hotmail, Gmail accounts are, and are the best way to go about things. The second way to make accounts is with disposable emails. Um, there, you don't need to worry about paying out for email addresses this is the middle of the road way to make accounts these are a lot more trusted than churn and burner accounts and have access to all the features that a fully made account a standard account would have however they're not quite as trusted and can be shadow banned okay so um, it's a great way to get started because it's you know as i say each account has all the access to um, comment and pming posting as the standard accounts do um, however you are using disposable email so there is always that chance that um, reddit may shadow ban a percentage of your accounts and the third way is just pure um, churn and burn accounts this 
these accounts are non-verified, so don't have all the features of a verified account. However, they are a good way to um, comment, etc., and use some of the features of Reddit. And of course, these are made very quickly. Okay, there's no need to verify emails. There's no hard cost involved. So it just depends on your the method you wish to use and what you're trying to achieve. This is discussed in length in the tutorial videos, but it's just another option for you to make accounts depending on what your uh, goal is with Reddit. Uh, the next module is the churn and burn poster. This is to post really quickly with your um, churn and burn accounts. Again, this is perhaps not the best option. It depends on what you're trying to achieve, but it's a great way to get content and traffic out there very quickly. Um, again, these posts can be taken down and shadow banned, etc. It's just if you need a quick hit of traffic, um, and you don't want to use your standard accounts. Okay, again, these accounts can die really quickly that you use this module with, but again, you can make, depending on how many proxies, etc., that you have, you're able to make a lot of accounts and therefore post um, a lot very quickly. Now, the next module is probably the most, um, the module that most people want to use it's to upvote your posts so you're able to come along with all your accounts and upvote them okay uh, you're a also able to um, not only upvote which lots of bots just leave it there you're able to uh, make a comment as well so you can upvote and then leave a comment as well this helps with the uh, reddit um, algorithm so you could say that um, seven out of ten of the people um, accounts that upvote you then want to leave a comment afterwards as well so it makes it look a bit more legit okay and the last module at the moment is the use comment upvote so not only can you post comments you can then come along and either upvote uh, your comments for your own posts or you can make a comment on someone else's post um, one that's highly trafficked um, trafficked uh, has a lot of traffic a lot of upvotes you can make a comment then come along and upvote your comment okay and if you've got a link in that comment then you can get such big traffic this is really underused and I don't see a lot of other bots with this module and the other module that is also included that is not here right now um, but by the time you watch this video will be included is a don't um, a down a down vote module so you're able to down vote um, other people's posts whether or not you want to use that is up to you it's obviously a very black hat module okay but you are able to do that if you so wish to okay so that's all the modules that's included at the moment um, I don't think there's any other reddit bot out there that has so many features okay um, if you're watching this video you probably know the power of reddit already you're able to get um, traffic that can take down servers um, we've seen up to 500,000 visits from one post um, of course it just depends on what subreddit you go after how popular it is how many accounts you have so I'm not saying that you're going to achieve that yourself however you can expect mass traffic um, depending again depending on the subreddits you go after but there's a subreddit for any niche out there so you can get traffic for just about any topic that you're going after um guys if you have any questions about what the bot can do um before purchasing that's no problem there's a link down below for you to get in contact with us um as i said the support is fantastic you, you're not just buying a bot here but um you're also um by access to us we can help you with campaigns so we're here on Skype, Discord, and email all the time. So I don't want you to think you just buy the bot and left it in the lurch. The other question that we get a lot and um, something that worries people is about updates. We use this bot daily in our marketing. So once we update our version of the bot, your version updates as soon as you restart the bot. So you can expect updates nearly daily, but at least five times a week. Okay, so please don't worry about that. We use the exact same and bot that you're working with here um, daily so there is no need to worry about that either okay guys the link is in the description if you're watching this on YouTube to get more information if you're um, on the site already then all the details are below grab your copy of reddit empire bot this really is a fantastic way to get mass 
traffic to just about any niche that's online. Okay guys, I'll speak to you soon. I'm looking forward to connecting with you and helping you get the traffic to your niche website.